Hi, this is Shota from Tanks. Hi, this is Fabiola from Tanks Green Stuff. And uh, today we're going to go undercover and check out some other indoor house planning mixes. So that being said, i got to swap out my hat. Put on the, uh, the blank one and Fabiola. Can't have a shirt saying Tanks Green Stuff if we're going in. Sorry, big box store. No specific big box store whatsoever. All right, here we go. We're walking over to the big box store. So what we're gonna do today specifically is we're gonna find the most common indoor houseplant mix that's most readily available to you all and a couple little houseplants and we're gonna repot them. Uh, one in the, uh, the common big box store houseplant mix and the other one in the Della Tanks mix and uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're looking for is like a smaller little house plant and we need two of them that are, are fairly similar. So we're going to find something. Is that one real? It looks like, but <laughs> yeah. Why is it so hard? <laughs> I think a couple of these. These look cute, right? Yeah. Yeah. These are going to go in Tanya's office, so... Yeah. Do those look fairly similar? Let's see... I think these two, huh? I think these two, because this one has new growth on it, so that would be oh, kind of okay. cheating. Unless we do this one, which also has new growth on it. So it could be these two, or these two. Yeah. Which ones do you think the better? I think these ones. These ones? All right, yeah. we'll do those two. That. Okay. So we got our plants, huh? Yeah. These are cute. All righty. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Over there, but they're big, big bags. We don't need yeah, we need the little ones. Maybe it's oh, over there. Yeah. All right, so we made it out. We got some plants, some containers, some soil to try. We're gonna see how this goes. <sighs> Almost back to our office. <laughs> All right, we're back from the big box store. So I uh, put the, the old tanks hat back on. Put the undercover hat away and we successfully acquired uh, two different kinds of plants because you know I'm not gonna lie they were they were a decent deal and so we got these here uh, and these are a epirinium we might have to cut that out I'm not good at pronunciations so we got these two beauties and then Fabiola picked out these two beauties and we're gonna repot them we're gonna pot one of each in our Della Tanks houseplant mix. And I think for just these two containers, we'll probably just go with the eight quart bag, right? Seems like enough. Mm -hmm. And then we got here is the, uh, the good old big box store mix, the indoor potting mix, and uh, we'll get into it. Pause. So we're gonna have a look at this soil mix. Looks pretty, it smells pretty good. It smells nice. So that's going to be our big box store mix. And we've got the old uh, Della Tanks mix here. So that's the Della Tanks mix. And so first things first, we do the smell test. So take a little bit. Smells earthy, smells pretty good. Let's see. Smells earthy, also smells pretty good. So both of these mixes do a pretty good job on the smell test. They both look pretty good. And so the big 
difference between the two mixes I see right now is the chunkiness, right? And so you have the, the cocoa chip in our mix and the pumice are a lot bigger and they don't break down. And then the box store mix is got not a whole lot of chunks in it. It's really fine. It looks like there's some peat in there and some perlite. Perlite's great, um, but it, it breaks up a little bit and it's, it's pretty light, but there's a good amount of perlite in there. The other thing I see in here is going to be, aha. Uh -huh. I don't know if anyone can see that. Can you see it, Feb? No, no, no. It's uh... Yeah. Eggs? No. <laughs> <laughs> These are going to be um, slow-release fertilizer pellets. This is a liquid oh, fertilizer. Okay. Right? And it's in a pellet form that will break down over time um, with water. And so okay. it's going to release into the into the soil. So one of the big differences between these soils is that they're both going to be fertilized, right? Mm -hmm. But the super mix is going to have an organic fertilizer, and the box store or the box store mix has got uh, nitrogen. Um, oh, it's got uh, it's uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.13, 0 0.19. So pretty mild, really mild pretty low fertilizer but it does have a little fertilizer in it mm -hmm. and so we're really getting into a little bit of you know apples to apples they're both fertilized we've just got two different kinds of mix this one is sphagnum moss heavy and not a whole lot of compost i think um you can see it's got some chips but it, they're more like clumps and then this one here the pumice the compost and the cocoa chip so we're going to go ahead i'm going to put some of each into a one gallon container to start off with and the reason I'm going to do this is I'm going to get the soil nice and wet I'm going to put some well all right yeah normally when you fill a tank mix let the water run through it you can see there okay it's pretty good I'm going to do the same with the box store mix see there already the biggest difference I think between the mm -hmm. two mixes is going to be water but I'm going to put a little bit more through this one just to make sure all right so you can see there water still sitting on the soil mm -hmm. surface so that's it's going to be the biggest difference I think aside from Maybe water holding capacity as well as the nutrient type and the design it's going to be that water so we'll go back to the, the repotting these All right, so we are back. We've got our little house plants transplanted. These two here are transplanted in the big box store mix. And these two here are transplanted in the Della Tanks mix. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna put a little water on each of these. Maybe a coffee cup wasn't the, we need to get a better watering thing. It's my own fault I broke the last one, yeah. Uh, all right, we're back with a watering device that doesn't spill and leak. Nice little 
glass bottle and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a little water on each of the plants. I'm going to start with the Della Tanks mix. I don't know if people can see that. Get the zoom up front. Did you get it? Yeah. Alright, we'll do this one next. Alright, and this one here. Here. We've got a little overzealous there. All right, so they're watered. So these plants are going to be going into Tanya's office, and uh, we'll insert a little shot of where they're sitting now. And we're back. Okay, so again, we got Della tanks on this side, big box store on this side. We're just going to see how these grow out. We're going to put up some other clips and other little bits of information comparing the two. Um, and one thing I do want to mention to everybody out there is if you're out there and you're growing stuff, whatever the soil is and it's working for you, by all means, keep using it. You know, we're not here to tell you what kind of soils you need. We're just here to offer you another soil solution or an option um, if whatever soil you're using now isn't working for you. So if the big box store stuff works for you, by all means, keep buying it. If it works, it works, you know? But if you've had problems finding good soil or having a hard time with root rot, aeration, all kinds of different plant issues with your house plants, and you're really looking to make a change and in, 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 in trying to be successful with house plants, soil is where it starts. And so I would really highly recommend checking this out. In Arizona, it's currently available at the Plant Stand of Arizona, EcoGrow, and the Sagebrush AZ. It's also available in, on Amazon, where the links will be down in the description. And then uh, there's some other retailers, hopefully, they'll start carrying this product in a week or two. So we'll update you when that happens. But again, this isn't the soul shame anybody. This is just the difference and what makes our mix difference from something you can buy at the box store. And whatever works for you works. By all means, keep doing it. But if you're looking to make a change and you're having a hard time, I would start with the soil. And Della Tanks, our soil blend here, is a good place to start. So, uh, Keep coming back and checking in on Instagram for more updates. And uh, thanks for watching.